Hello guys, breaking news. You guys probably already heard One Wheel wants to uh, help you out with your old One Wheels, your XR and your GT. Um, no pints uh, are not for trade-ins. They basically want that XR and that GT for you to get the new flagship, which is the DCS series. So as you can see, you do have a deadline. Uh, we got to complete the trade and register by March 8th, 2024. And you got to send the board in by April 20th, 2024. All right. Once the board is received, your coupon will be guaranteed and will expire 90 days from the date it was issued. So you got to around certain amount of days I guess to you know send it in so they not only have a deadline they basically telling you within 90 days your coupon will expire so hurry up and buy <laughs> okay next topic basically here are the terms if you guys haven't digged a little bit I basically put some information in which is my serial number and everything to get to this particular page here um, I haven't submitted this myself but I wanted to I kind of contemplated so these are my questions and concerns about this is basically it says by signing below you agree to the following terms and conditions said so future motion uh, incorporated is basically uh, not responsible for the loss of any content or packaging sent as a result of poor packaging etc etc understood 100 percent probably mummy that shit and make sure that that thing doesn't open for whatever reason. Somebody have to cut it open in order for it to, you know, you basically send it in the same damn original package that they sent your one will in. That's a good thing. Okay, fine, we're done with that. But then the next one was, uh, Future Motion is not responsible for any loss or package in transit. Product must arrive to fulfillment center to be considered for trading program. I don't like that. So basically, Future Motion is saying, we're not insuring your package. We're going to send you a label. It's probably going to go ground. It's probably going to take them about two weeks to get there. Um, but they're basically saying they're not insuring a product. So I send my board in, which is a GT. I paid about $2,300 for it. It's a little less than a year old. I got about 410 miles on it. I do local shit. I don't do group rides. I go where I go do my little YouTube page the whole nine that's what I do um, but they're telling me basically I'm SOL or shit out of luck if my package is lost or stolen that's not a good look I don't like that and it rubs me the wrong way that's the only thing I have a problem with these terms and conditions the other ones is pretty much understandable I mean it says here uh, I understand that I send an incomplete board in um, it will be discarded and not be returned. Of course, if you send in a damn lemon or something that's broken or whatever, they're going to keep it and you ain't going to get your money back or you ain't going to get nothing for it or whatever. It is what it is. Um, I understand that my trade-in credit will be in the form of coupon, boom, 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 basically saying you're not going to get cash. You got to credit it towards the, the new flagship. Understood. You hit understand, you sign, you hit submit. That second one rubs me the wrong way. I just don't like the part that they won't insure your product. That's not right. If that thing gets lost or stolen, that, that would be a bad vibe. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if Future Motion have an issue with the sales now that they're doing this. Well, maybe they're not. They said it's a promotion. It's like a 10-year anniversary, things like that. That sounds good. I like that. But I don't think there should be a limit on this. I think this should just be an ongoing thing. Um, this should be something that you want to do but <clears throat> from my standpoint I think also you know you buying this GT from a retailer right and it's a third party um, now you got to deal with the third party instead of dealing with future motion directly I don't like that so I think my take is on what I'm going to do if I do decide to sell my GT it will be to someone that I um, trust, you know, and I'm familiar with, um, and I would just probably buy the GT directly from Future Motion because of the warranties type of thing. 
Um, I wouldn't want to involve a third party and having to deal with that hassle, um, having to go to them with a warranty issue I have directly with Future Motion. So that's just my take, um, and that's just how I feel about it.